Hello and welcome back to Vintage Story. This one's going to be uh, about preparation. We're preparing for winter, but we're also preparing to move in to our actual cottage. Um, it's actually coming up. It's been a long time coming. This uh, project has taken a long time. Someone mentioned, you know, t <laughs> converting one of those large amphitheaters uh, into some kind of livable space is a pretty ambitious project and I would agree but the thing is is that the amphitheater um, isn't even really going to be the full scope of the project I have other plans in mind including a uh, sort of indoor um, greenhouse that is not actually part of the current foundation as well as uh, other odds and ends and I do plan on making it two stories not including the windmill so that should keep me busy for quite a long time I do want this thing to look really nice when I'm done with it um, which I think it will it's already starting to shape up but it does need some work and detailing to make it look uh, like what I have envisioned but you know never mind um, so we found some mushrooms I like I said before I don't really like to hang around in the forest they're probably the danger most dangerous spot to kind of do foraging and resource gathering but you know you, you kind of have to if you want some of the the good stuff the forest is a great resource for uh, medium fertility soil mushrooms uh, berries and you know of course wood which I do need copious amounts of I haven't really talked about why yet but I'm um, not uh, all I know is you know when you're working on a painting you need uh, more than one color and a contrast is generally a good idea. So I know that I've picked uh, claystone brick as being my one color for, you know, composing the, 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 the cottage, but I, I want something to kind of contrast it. And I figure I do want to have some kind of wood because that makes sense to me. So I've chosen maple uh, as a means. So you may have missed it there, uh, but we finally, I finally have made some kind of light source the the ultimate goal is of course to have uh, lanterns as our light source because they cover such a huge amount of ground they're a very very convenient light source but they're also very expensive i am um, but uh, I, I did make some oil lamps oil lamps are great but they are also kind of expensive in some ways more expensive when you consider the the uses of uh, fat um, since you it costs one fat per like lamp then it's it seems like really expensive fat is useful for a number of things mostly mid to late game uh kind of mechanical and technological construction um as, since it's used to kind of oil up uh different moving parts and there goes our torch again i had to include it almost feels like tradition at this point to include once per episode me uh, accidentally putting my torch out so I basically have to come scramble home at night um, to put some light on but we got some more fat um, you know I haven't actually made the oil lamp but that was kind of the goal um, for this for this first part you know it does a lot to um, make the place feel a bit more cozy and it's going to also do a lot to ensure that uh, less monsters spawn uh, inside our base the uh, the plan was to make the base um, monster spawn proof um, so it doesn't basically it doesn't get over you know crowded and uh, at nighttime or during a temporal storm uh, storm I haven't yet gotten to that point but we're getting there and you know this whole thing is is definitely a process but by the way I've included this uh, just as, as a very short time lapse I wanted to you know I talk about like needing grass for certain things and I figured you know like you don't really get to see that process I always have to do these simple little things like oh you know I gotta make another fire pit uh, or pit kiln in order to, to fire some some something here or there but you know I never you never really get an idea of how much resource gathering I do um, I try to not include a lot of that because I'm sure it's super boring but you know um, I do like to include a little bit of you know like this is this is actually how much effort is going into this um not that it's it is it's fun i mean it's all meant for fun right so i, want, I wanted to get these um uh clay items fired like put you, you want to get them fired before you go to bed because that's a lot of um 
cooking and baking they can do uh, that, you know, in a short amount of time. Um, so that's, you know, sometimes I have to brave the nighttime. I don't like to really roam around in the nighttime because uh, that, I think that kind of helps, like, ensure that monsters spawn, but I'm not really sure. I needed some more bowls. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of bowls because that's what's used to make oil lamps. But, uh, you know, so got to gotta get on that. That was kind of too little, too late. I'm not, I'm not really good at, like, preparing for something. I'm good at, like, oh, I, I should make this thing. So I go and get the, like, least uh, important ingredient in why, you know, like the fat, the instantaneous ingredient instead of, like, working on the thing that's going to take time. If I had made the bowls first, they probably would have been ready by the time I got the fat. We're also going to be working on the cellar. Um, so this this under under cottage is going to become the cellar, and it's going to become an uh, important and integral part of the cottage. Uh, and you know, in order to preserve foods, I wanted it to be pretty extensive and uh, offer me the flexibility that I need. So um, you know, for that, I just kind of like created a space under the house that was going to be. You know, just a, a big old open space that I can change however I want. I want it to, you know, represent a, a kind of a living space that you would kind of find in a normal household like this. So I want it to look like a cellar, but I also want it to be functional as a cellar. So uh, that hence why I've, you know, settled on certain design elements. Here's another time lapse to give you an idea of how long this takes. Uh, I did, I, I wanted the cellar to be a little bit um, taller, like I, I don't like the ceiling to be right above me, it makes me feel a little bit claustrophobic, uh, not that I am claustrophobic, it's just, you know, it, it makes me feel kind of cramped in there, so I, I wanted it to be deeper, but uh, I did eventually put planks down as well, To this is a, a an actually an exploit, in, in a way, I, I read that um, planks or half high blocks stop monsters from spawning um so that's why i decided to you know instead of lighting the cellar i decided to just like cover it in planks this will be something i change later maybe um do you know once i have enough lighting then i can remove those um but for now i think it works okay uh, and since the cellar is a place that is going to stay cool I think it's probably okay. I think in real life, you generally wouldn't want um, to have wood under, you know, in your cellar because it would probably get wet and moldy. Um, so it's probably not a great idea in, in the grand scheme of things, but it is what it is. It's got to be what it is um, in order to just ensure I don't have to fight a monster every time I go down in my cellar. At a certain point, I realized I was going to need some more granite cobblestone. So, um, you know, I guess the reasonable choice is to go and gather your own uh, granite, right? And then make the granite cobblestone. But I quickly realized later that this was a pretty flawed plan. It didn't really... Um, I, I don't know, I kind of got lazy and shortcutted by uh, destroying some more local ruins. Which, you know, as fair as fair. I'm basically building on a ruin anyway, so... I tried really hard to figure out the chisel in this session, but it really, really didn't work out for me. Uh, and I had to, it took me at least two play sessions to to figure things out. And man, I, I always forget there's a, like a huge army that appears, or, or like very occasionally for some reason. And uh, I mean, I have a good solution for it now. But, uh, you know, I just, like, kind of wander away and do something I need to do in the forest, whatever it is. Generally, pick some berries or something. But And, and then I come back, and, and generally they have the, the entire army of drifters has despawned. Which, I don't know, seems like an exploit, but I don't really care. So here's me trying to figure out the chisel, and it really doesn't work out. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to basically mix two blocks together. And... I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to need to, like, you know, create the block I need to place onto that corner because I want it to be clay stone on a corner, uh, you know, so it kind of looks like an archway. But it didn't work out, and I couldn't really figure it out. I do eventually figure it out later, but uh, the chisel is a really interesting tool. 
Um, I've seen it implemented in mods for Minecraft, so I have to assume that maybe that's where it comes from, but I, I really appreciate it in uh, Vintage Story. It does a lot for creativity and customization. So there we are. We finally got our oil lamps, uh, and they're going to do a lot to... Uh, honestly, it's like it is a, just a comfort thing, but also it is kind of a functional thing as well. Uh, when I'm basically like running home as quickly as possible, I don't have to like try and start a fire in the dark. Uh, that's, it just does a lot to ensure that, I, you know, I... <laughs> I can get to, I can keep working basically. And also like once we get things lit up enough, uh, I can basically work through the night. And we are almost at the point where uh, the cottage is functional enough that I can actually get it. You know, I can, I can keep working at nighttime. I almost have enough tasks that I can, I can kind of keep things going, but you know, we're getting there. It's uh, at a certain point, I still want to just like sleep through the night. Um, and, uh, you know, eventually we're going to have to put a roof over it, I found in the most recent episode. I won't spoil why, but uh, a roof, roof is going to do a lot for us. I finally kind of figured out the fruit press. Fruit press is working out for us. And um, it's going to, it does a lot, actually. I didn't even, you know, has an unexpected benefit, but it uh, does give us quite a lot of rot since we have those compressed berries, basically dry berry mash that we can turn into rot and then eventually compost so that did a lot to speed up the process of getting rot uh, i haven't really seen or tried to uh drink berry juice and see how much like sa uh, satiation that gives us but uh, i have to imagine it's maybe as much as the berries themselves who knows we'll see i do know it's worth it though uh, and eventually we can distill them if we want for like wines and stuff decanter them so there's there's our rot collection 29k of rot we need 64k in order to start turning it into compost that's going to be really important but it's also a lengthy process so i do put the berry mash in the in the crates in order to um rot but i decide not to do that later because I realize it's going to take a lot longer is even just putting food in a container means that it um, t it keeps for longer and we don't want the berry mash to keep we want it to spoil so um, the best place for that is basically in our inventory unfortunately so it's going to take up inventory space so here I am trying to figure out how to make the whole uh, upgrading our inventory thing work and it was at this point that I realized that uh, when you take a basket out of your inventory, it actually has items in it. It's not just like arbitrarily like a, an upgrade slot. So I have to kind of like juggle items around in our inventory to ensure that one of the baskets is empty. You can, you can tell that the basket is empty if you can put it in your inventory. Um, if you can't put it in your inventory, then it's got stuff in it. And then you can uh, put it in the crafting table with a knife in order to cut it back into cattails. I like to do this because it's, you know, kind of fun to recycle something like that. And, uh, but, you know, other than that, it's, it's, you may as well just upgrade to the linen bags. They're a straight up upgrade. Eventually I do want to do like hunter ba uh, backpacks or some kind of backpacks, but they're pretty expensive and they don't really upgrade very much from the linen bags. There's other things we're going to need leather for, so it's not a high priority so for now, I'm just going to kind of mosey on with the, with the linen bags and, uh, that'll, that'll keep me going for now. So, um, here, here's our birch slabs. Uh, I'm not super happy with how, uh, the cellar turns out or how it looks in the end of this, but like I say, this birch slab business in the cellar is purely functional for the purposes of making it monster free. Um, eventually I'll, I'll just keep, have the place lit enough that I don't need the, the birch slabs. I don't think it looks very good and it also makes the place feel a little bit short. So, uh, I will eventually get rid of them, but you know, for now I think it's, it's okay. Uh, and it will, it, it does kind of match the shelf, uh, space that I end up making. But anyway, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.